The 2021 Met Gala this year was tributed to American fashion with a theme, a lexicon of fashion, which was quite interpreted well with stars like Billie Eilish, tennis pro Naomi Osaka chairing the evening. Join us on the NTV Star Project tonight as we discuss the must-see looks of the biggest night in fashion. Hello everyone, my name is Bettina. Welcome to the show. If you missed the biggest night of fashion in the whole entire world, worry not, we got you covered because tonight we are discussing everything, every little fashion detail that went down at the recently concluded Met Gala. So if you're into such events, you might want to sit down and relax and enjoy the show with us. But if you were following the whole entire thing on social media, here and there, I realized lots of fashion bloggers were posting about the ensembles. Well, you can, of course, join us as well on the conversation that is simply by um, commenting on our Facebook, which is NTV Style Project, or even sharing your thoughts through our live stream on YouTube. Now, to do that with me is my handsome, dapper, fresh co-host, the one and only Rama Kizito. Uh, I'm so excited to be here and um, Met Gala is arguably one of the best fashion events in the whole world and um, we had to do this. Yeah, you it know. gets the people talking exactly. and so much happened this year. And us being in the pandemic, of course, it raised um, too much attention, you not know, like the previous um, years. And uh, of course, uh, the theme for um, this 2021's Met Gala is sharing history in America, a lexicon of fashion. So. Um, if you notice, the outfits were all depicting American history. Uh, we saw lots of hats, we saw lots of horses to depict that American history. Then, of course, we have people that wore um, outfits that also depicted the Statue of Liberty. So of it was really, um, it brought us back to our um, fashion modes. Yeah. Uh, the fact that we didn't have Met Gala last year, yeah. it just brought it back and uh, it's here to stay. Well, it was mm. such an interesting night, I must say. Um, mm. Some of uh, the notable names in fashion and music didn't show up, like Nikki the Queen, Minaj. the Queen, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewinsky, Nicki the Barbie. Uh -huh. She didn't show up, um, and this is because on her social media she posted it. For somebody to attend the Met Gala 2021, you had to be vaccinated, vaccinated. Yeah. and she hasn't yet really made that choice, but. Whoever you saw at the Met Gala 2021 mm. is vaccinated, fully vaccinated. But of course, one would so argue that. Uh, one would argue that maybe because she's a Nakawere. I don't know. There are lots of controversy yes. there. So, guys, we want to go straight on the dissecting board. Rama, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Sure. All right. Who do you have first on your list? Of course, when I speak fashion, when I speak Hollywood, when I speak the Western world, when it comes to fashion and music. The one that comes number one in the list has to be Rihanna for me. Okay. <laughs> You're starting with the best. Uh, what's happening here? Th that's, that's my best. Okay. Uh, just in case the people watching at home are Masanya Zegavako, at least they would have watched Rihanna. Okay. She wore this um, Balenciaga all black dress. Yeah. And um, of course she's Rihanna. Throw a suck at her, she will look good in it. She walked the red carpet with the current boyfriend, Esa Proki, mm -hmm. and uh, his outfit raised uh, lots of controversy. Some people called it a duvet, but he had style project, which we, we used to call it a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the outfits were contrasting, so I didn't have a problem with it. It raised lots of uh, comments on social media, different mm -hmm. bloggers wrote about it, but uh, Mia's drama, I say um, they were one of uh, my best dressed couples of the night. Yeah. And uh, her being Rihanna, she's always uh, there to make a statement. Yeah. So she did exactly that. I loved, loved, loved her head accessories. They just gave me vibes of Fashion Killer, the song where she starred as a video vixen. And that was for her friend, Asa Rocky, then Brokey. and now boyfriend. boyfriend. So for me, <laughs> I really love that she gave me back that sort of in sport and it was really hard for me she was so confident in everything that she wore and lots of people at um, the red carpet were waiting for her 
I mean, I'm really biased because I'm a Rihanna fan. I'm <laughs> such Wait. a big Rihanna fan. About ASAP Rocky, although I do not know, guys, I didn't understand why he showed out like that. He is a fashion, you know, figure. He's somebody that we look out for when it comes to fashion. For the men, he has had multiple campaigns with different brands. I think they're just so in love, so they needed uh, and, and actually, something. she said she <laughs> wasn't sure she was going to come, but she came, and she hosted the after party. Now, guys, for me, I am really sure about Storm Raid. I really, really, really fell in love with Storm Raid's look. She was wearing a three-piece. Now, for me, as a person, I'm all about wearing three pieces or even going over the top i love when somebody puts in effort and gives us something that you know wasn't expected so here we have storm raid a young black gorgeous woman in a crop top by prada embroidered shorts by prada as well and then we have this um pink skirt that is you know just giving us a lot of cheeky vibes but still you know fitting in her age group i really really love this ensemble the reason as to why i love it was the crop top because it has different layers it has the burgundy layer it has the black layer the very first layer and the top layer the bubblegum pink i loved it but i do not know how <laughs> this is representing the theme uh well i think it does i think it does from of course uh, the colors her being a black woman in um the first time appearing on the Met Gala, it's her debut. So the color combination of uh, black, bag and uh, that bubblegum pink, and um, her kind of personality, she followed the theme, yeah, because it had lots to do with um, feather feathers, and the Native um, Americans are known for feathers. Exactly. So, so yeah, she actually I'm not followed picking. the theme. I'm picking. Yeah. I'm picking. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're just joining us, say nice. so thank you now. Thank you. <laughs> I'll give you a hug about COVID. Rama, tell us. Your next look? Um, I really love uh, this young pretty girl. She's a 23 year old and uh, most of the people first saw her at uh, the inauguration of uh, President of America, His Excellency Joe Biden, and uh, she recited her work. She's a poet and uh, this as well was um, her debut of uh, Met Gala, meaning so many other people have been watching her, been watching her closely, I've been following her journey, yeah. and uh, I'm really, really proud that she's actually being recognized by Met Gala because being on Met Gala means you are a star now. She's, she's black, so she wore her uh, Vera work dress uh, that um, was inspired by modern Statue of Liberty. I'm very, very sure you guys uh, know that. That's, uh, it's like monumental. So following the theme of American history, following the theme of um, what people believe in, the Native Americans uh, believe in, it is prestigious to actually take a photo on the Statue of Liberty. Um, for me, I really love the blue. It really matches well with her melanin. And I also love the fact that um, she has her ponytail tied up the way it is and that really just makes us feel she's not forgetting so much of her african heritage in terms of um how she has braided her hair i totally love young women who stand for what they believe in and of course she's such a confident young lady i also got to know her after um her, her poet um the, the, her at the poem inauguration she, yeah she recited at the inauguration up next we have the queen the beautiful melanin actor lupita nyongo of Kenyan and Mexican heritage here at the Met Ball 2021. Peter wore a wonderful ensemble. It was very, very, very unexpected. Who rocks denim to the Met Gala, guys? Can we talk about this? Come on. <laughs> Wait, before we go any further, can we, can we appreciate her beauty, her skin? Because she's we, black. Can you appreciate everything? Because she doesn't bleach. Meanwhile, That's this, why you love her. Meanwhile, no, no, no. This lady is in her mid-thirties. Can you imagine? Okay, when, like, you, when you talk about crack. age, wait for who I'm bringing up next. Because you're talking about age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you make of Lupita's look? It is the first time I'm seeing um, a denim red carpet dress. And uh, it, it, it's a wow for me. It's I think because nice. she has um, um, Kenyan blood, and these guys are very, very creative. They know how to work around with what's around them. Mm -hmm. So it is no surprise that it is actually Lupita 
donning denim on the red carpet. And of course, the minimal accessorizing, she has always been like that. Then of course, you'll comment about the hair. You really love hair. Yeah, I love that she let it play this time. Yeah. You know, Lupita has been rocking short hair for so long, and then she tried to transition into the bantu knots and the different, different, you know, little, little, little knots here and there. And now I'm seeing her with an afro. I do not know what you guys at home think. Please comment, comment, and let us know. Would you wear this gown? Let us know in the comment section. Rama, what do we have up next? Well, you talked about age and uh, looking the part for Met Gala. I'll talk about one of the most underrated pop stars in our lifetime, the lady, the queen, Jennifer Lopez. I really love Rihanna, but what comes next is uh, Jennifer Lopez. She's 52 years in. Look at that. <laughs> but of course, this was designed by uh, Ralph Lauren and... Yeah. Um, of course, it has the cow girl because of the heart. It's American, American history. She has lots of, uh, if you notice, accessorizing. She used lots of belts. Like, you know, I, I was researching about this outfit, and uh, I saw she's one person that actually brought out everything what the theme talked about. So if I'm giving 10 out of 10 for someone who followed the theme, it has to be her. Yeah. And of course, like the New York Times would uh, write, she had to show us a little bit of, of um, skin. skin. You know, she always has her yeah. leg out popping. And for me, I really love that that is her signature pose. I did understand the ensemble at first. But, but after now researching, yeah. I, I understand. And after you speaking, I get to love it even Ralph more. Ralph Lauren uh, really makes mistakes when it comes to um, dressing celebrities. Guys, I've been serving this look because I totally wanted to just absorb this beauty in. Now, here we have a beautiful model, black woman, who is over the age of 60 guys in a beautiful gown by Harris Reed of Dolce & Gabbana. I'm talking about the one and only in man. man. If you're a model and if you're a supermodel or if you're an aspiring model, this is somebody that you should look up to for inspiration she literally came and shut it down boom over it was over <laughs> well um iman's outfit of course um it, it shut down everyone she she understood the kind of personality that she is i mean she's she's done all that she's been at um hundreds of red carpets but she needed to do something different these are people that um i think she, she even has a campaign with uh, princess baga yeah and Princess Bagger right now is like way older than her, but there were stars at the same time. So it is not surprising that Iman is um, wearing this with uh, the designer, you say? Um, Harris Reed. Of Harris Dolce Reed. Of I think he's the creative, di the creative director of uh, Dolce and Gabbana. And I mean, she's a black woman, the pose, and. Um, mm -hmm the extra effort to um, wear that, uh, that thing on the head. For me, it, it I love, she, she really did um, represent the Native Americans with how they love to decorate their bodies and everything with the feathers. It was all about feathers, feathers, feathers. I totally love this color on her. It complemented her skin color so, 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 so beautifully. And also the makeup for me, I love that it was super subtle apart from the popping eye. Kudos, 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 kudos to her team. Now, guys, we are going to go in for a quick breather, but when we come back, we have more fashion for you. Keep it locked right here. Thank you so much for staying with us up until now. You are still watching the number one fashion TV show in Uganda, the NTV Style Project. And right about now, I am joined by a face that is not so new to us. But when we miss her and she is back, she will tell us what has been going on in her life and a few tips here and there. You know, we're all about, you know, elevating our supporters and viewers. Hi. Hi, Bettina. Thanks for having me back. Girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what has been it's going been on? It's been a minute. A lot has been going on. A lot okay. has been going on. I've been okay. lost for a minute, but I'm here. Okay. Now, tonight... We are going to be catching up with Nicole Estella and we shall be discussing a topic that most people don't even care about. Well, Nini is a new mom. Round of applause. Yes, Nini, congrats on Thank the band of joy. Thank you. And now we know 
got so many mothers go through a lot yes after giving birth yes how was the experience for you by the way um there is a lot it's a roller coaster of emotions because when you're pregnant you're thinking i want to get done and over with this and then when you give birth there is all the hormonal changes yeah. uh the, you still have the hormones of pregnancy but then now here comes a new bundle of joy with responsibilities and all of that so with some people it comes with postpartum depression tonight we want to focus on how to get back in shape after having a baby yes this is something we have really never discussed mm -hmm. yeah so do you have any tips or any advice for ladies out there okay um of course when you j even if, when you've just given birth uh your body has changed a whole lot it's taken you like nine months for the body to change for the body to take on a whole other form so you are plump with a baby and now the baby is out but you're still plump you know you're still fattish you're still you're still big a bit i should say plump so um it takes patience you need to be patient with yourself because mentally if you're going to be rushing it i want to get back in one week i want to get back in a month i want to get back then it's because i mean you have to put in mind that it took you nine months to get that body so it's gonna take you a bit of some time yeah. but of course it's um some women really give up on themselves they like the difference between the women that um lose the weight the baby weight and the women that don't is uh is here so some women feel like i think this is too much i don't think i can lose it and then others are like i'm gonna work on it so if you have probably probably not done like c-section and you're free after like six weeks or seven whatever when you feel better get back to the gym get to work out and things like that it might not happen overnight for some because we have different bodies for some people it will take uh a few months you know be patient with yourself if you keep looking and you're like oh i was maybe 80 80 something kgs now i'm 70 something that is good progress you couldn't have said um that better so to all the mothers out there who are planning on getting back in shape nicole estella just gave you a you know a wake-up call there you go guys let's <laughs> get don't give up on yourself going. yes yeah. don't give up on yourself plays the biggest role here yes now let's talk the Met Gala yes let's talk the Met Gala <laughs> did you follow did you follow this event online? yes I did of course I had to what yes. did you make of the theme um of course I mean America being America I feel like it should have been more inclusive of other places other than the Americas or America but I mean it's their thing so it's yeah. all okay and I feel like um, the people that stood out for me was uh, AOC which is Alexandria Cassia Cortez she's a congresswoman in New York and uh, she wore the white uh, beautiful gown she wore a beautiful white dress that had tax the rich which has been a movement that has been going on in america to tax the rich the jeff Bezos, the elon Musk, and all of those people the billionaires and the millionaires and uh it's been a movement that is for me it's for a good cause and also the fact that she was designed by uh by James Orora, who is who happens to be a black woman. She's a black immigrant into the U in the U.S. Call me racist or whatever, but I'm all for black excellence. I'm all for black lives. Yes. I'm all for yes. black people. <laughs> yes, I also do agree with you. We are all about black excellence and uplifting um, our own. Lewis Hamilton, the sportsman, the car race driver, did something so huge at a recently concluded Met Gala 2021. He literally bought a whole table and invited black designers in it. What did that mean to you? That meant it's it's supportive because I mean he's rich and he would have uh, gone by himself. But you know supporting others and lift, lifting others on a stage as big as the Met, that is huge. Uh, Nini, who else did you have on your fingertips? Oh my goodness, we cannot conclude this without talking about Kim Kardashian West, if okay. she is still West anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kardashian West was wearing this hot couture she was clad in black from head to toe and she posted on um, her Instagram she was saying her post was what is more American than wearing a t-shirt from head to toe anyhow uh, for me Kim's outfit was for starters it was supposed to it's it's an incognito outfit her face is covered but hey when you look at Kim Kardashian even with her shadow you can tell one of the memes that caught my mind was where somebody said um, Tell me your Kanye West's wife without telling me your Kanye West's wife. Because Kanye is so much into this mask yes. cover him all the way up. But Actually, guys, I love the look. Do you love it? I love it. Their relationship is still mysterious after yes. allegedly she filed for divorce. But um, apparently do, um, Kanye West is 
promoting his album Donda and he's wearing all these masks and these black symbols and all of that. And Kim, Kim Kardashian has been seen wearing black even to uh, around the time of a New York Fashion Week. She was seen getting out of her hotel room in this black, you know, outfit with her face covered. I'm still wondering how she could really see. And breathe at the same and time. And breathe. She was accompanied by, I think, Balenciaga's creative director. But some people were saying it could be Kanye West. Yeah, it looked like Kanye. But according to E! News, uh, they were saying that it is by Balenciaga's creative director. So, because his face was covered as well. So for me, Kim Kardashian looked amazing. Um, of course, her signature ponytail. I love ponytails. <laughs> she always looks amazing with ponytails. She looked amazing. So who was your best before you round up the show? Okay, my best was uh, Iman. 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 Yeah, my dress was okay. my, my best was Iman. Nicole, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having you. me. Yes. Thank you for having me. All it's right. a pleasure being here. All right. Well, guys, my best look of the night was the one and only Iman. Rama should also tell us who his favorite was. Well, for those who know me and for those who have been following me and those who have me on WhatsApp, you always know our best. Our best is always a girl from Barbados. Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'll, I'll pronounce that word Barbados. Barbados. It depends on your, um, <laughs> your beachy, your UPA school. So. Okay. Okay, guys. And quickly, Rama, your worst look of the night. Uh, my worst was um, Kendo Jenner, maybe. Why? Kendo we, really killed it. We, we really expected um, better from her. She's a supermodel. She's been there. And she has these contacts of um, all these big, big designers. So we expected to see something different. Her outfit was something that was seen before on yeah. um, smaller personalities. So, Well, guys, tell us who your best and worst was in the comment section. Now, Rama, you may want to tell us who you're wearing because you look course. so dapper. Tonight, I'm dressed by Larry Kajo. I, I love supporting my own. I love supporting um, Ugandan designers. This is all made from Uganda. The president has always told us to support Ugandan products. So that is the goal that we are on for the rest of the year and the years, the years to come. So he's a very young gentleman. He's called Larry Kajo. You can check him out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. And of course, I uh, was, uh, was told by me, I chose what to wear. You see, there's a difference between designing and styling. That is another topic, but one day we shall share that. <laughs> and and social media handles. don't forget to follow me at Rama Kizito, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we really, really love your comments and uh, the feedback that you guys give us. So okay. keep it locked. Tonight, my outfit is by Posh by KC. Make sure you check her out as well to get such amazing styling. I totally had an amazing time on the show. If you did as well, let us know, engage with us. That is, follow us on all social media platforms, NTV Star Project Facebook and Instagram. Follow me on my personal ones, that is Bettina Tiana. And of course, Skin by BT, Beauty Uganda. Do not forget to check us out, guys, and support us. We shall definitely see you next week, same place, same time. Keep it fashion. Good night.